Hi there, welcome to the course. My name is Paolo Farias Navarro and I'll be your instructor. In this course, you'll be building an RPG game in virtual reality. So I'm gonna go grab this weapon and go and fight these um, skeleton warriors that are trying to kill me. And uh, as you can see, there are more skeletons there. So you can explore the dungeons and you can collect um, health potions. And also you can go and speak to some non-player characters located in different places. Now I'm going to show you what happens when I get damaged. My vision starts to get uh, tinted to red. So that indicates that I am, I am actually quite hurt at the moment. So let's go and speak to that guy there. And we can go and explore different rooms. So that is what the game is about. It's a really fun RPG game in virtual reality. And everything is built in a way that can be easily reused and put in your own projects as well. So you can grab a lot of these elements and um, use them in different projects. All right, so let's go and uh, take a look at the learning goals of this course. Our learning goals, you'll be learning the principles of modular level design. So we're going to create these dungeons using simple blocks as like Lego pieces that we can just put together easily in the Unity editor. We'll be collecting health and weapons, which will include a whole bunch of logic that we have to deal with and aspects in a virtual reality using um, case interaction and free teleportation as well. Um, we're going to cover how to create state machines in the animator, which we'll use for the swinging of the weapon. And the enemies will be using artificial intelligence to find you in the dungeon. So we'll be using the nav mesh component of Unity. And at the end of the course, we'll have a discussion about performance where we will implement occlusion culling, which is when you hide things. For example, you have a wall and you don't want to draw what's behind that wall, which Unity will do by default. So we're going to use occlusion culling to prevent our game from drawing things that are, be, that are covered by other objects. We're also going to light, uh, bake lights so that all of those um, beautiful light reflections that you saw in the dungeon levels, it's all going to be baked so that it's not calculated on runtime on your game. Now, everything you'll be learning in this course is applicable way beyond the game industry. VR is in a new state. This is what the web was like in the 90s. Not many people knew HTML back then, but the ones who did, many of them are doing quite well today. So I think that this is a good opportunity to you, for you to gain skills that not many people have these days and to build new solutions that nobody has thought of. So don't expect to find all the answers when it comes to VR. It is a World Wide West where you can create your own thing and really build things your own ways. And there are no many established preconceptions or rules here. Um, when it comes to our courses, and this is something we've learned after teaching over 200,000 students since 2012, is that uh, people have different learning styles. So please learn in whichever way suits you the best. If you're someone who wants to watch everything at once, go for it. If you want to watch a couple of uh, videos per week or per day, that can be done as well. And the material is there for you to re-watch. A lot of the times, some of the lectures are a bit more advanced, so you might need to watch them again and again and again, as many times as you want. And you can always come back years later to the materials. You have lifelong access to all of this content. Um, and also, we always recommend that people work on their own projects and ideas, whether that's uh, whether it's a side project something you're doing for fun, or whether you're starting a business or or working in the in a company. Um, when you create your own projects, is well you when you really apply all the concepts that we are teaching you in this course. Thanks for watching this introduction, and um, now let's begin.